What's up, YouTube world? What's cracking? Today, I'm going to be checking out this um, wireless gamepad from a company called Speaken for the Nintendo Switch. So apparently, this is as it looks like one of those um, gamepads we'd use on your phone, but they made this one for the Nintendo Switch, which I think this is pretty cool. Um, I like the Nintendo Switch. Like I said, this is my first Nintendo Switch, and I like it. I just don't like the way the... Um, the joysticks feel so flimsy and um, I prefer a traditional D-pad but um, this one looks pretty interesting I'll see it online and say you know what let me give it a try let me just give it a try um, I like the green and black I don't think that's what it's going to look like inside but I like the presentation on the box it looks pretty decent it says right here this product does not contain console okay but anyhow what are the features these things come with um, come with wireless connection come with the RGB flashlight got three level turbo six axis gyro sensor that's pretty deep that's pretty dope and macro back buttons that's 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 pretty decent and um got some more specification back here uh input voltage 500 current 500 milliamperes some other blah 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 product list one gamepad type c charging user manual and all that stuff this is pretty dope i like this so without further ado let's open up this box and let's see what it looks like inside here so let's have one end and slide this out oops oh shoot everything fall out one time and put it down right here set my camera back up all right so oh the jump it comes with this little um, warranty card right here go for one year blah 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 yada 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 get the deal get user support and this is a manual that you come with a quick start guide and some stuff right here which i'm gonna probably look into maybe not but this is what we want to see right here the device itself let's get it out of this um styrofoam thing right here let's see what we're working with right here okay 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 i like what i see so far this looks pretty good i like this i like this so let me just get this out the way all right i like the way it looks it looks pretty good okay so as we look right here you see the gc200 and it's pretty pretty light um, I think they got several variants of these things online with the, for the same company. I think they got one with the lightning RGB design and they got one like this black and, and white, which I go with black. The reason why I go with black because I want to match it up with my Asus RG Ally and I see some similarities with it, with the control, with the joy pads right here, with the texture on it, on the RG Ally. It looks very similar. Look at that. Very similar. Oh, shoot. I think these are Hall Effect joysticks. They feel really, really good. Feels just like the RG Ally um, um, joy, joy cons. So I guess our imitation is a, is a big form of flattery. So that's pretty decent to see. Right here, you got the same RGB um, ring on the joy cons, just like. Look at that. That's just nice. It's very, very lightweight. I'm not, I'm not even going to use my scale to, to weigh this bad boy. So let me see, right here, I think this is where we're going to connect the Nintendo Switch on this thing right here. I think you got to pull it off or no. Either way, I like the way it looks. It's light and you know, it's, the plastic is not that bad. It's not, it's cheap but it's not that bad. The D-pad feels very good, feel like you feel like it will do a good job if you play like a fighting game. Like I said, I prefer that compared to this button D-pads, I don't like that. Okay, underneath this thing right here. It comes with a USB type C port so you can charge it up. That's nice. That's a nice touch. And do we have any more USB C ports? No, that's only one. I thought it had two. Oh, shoot. I thought it had two. So, all right, you got a lock button right here. I think this is to lock the console. Yeah, see, lock button it locks the console in place. That's pretty dope. You got some four screws, right? You got some bunch of screws. I don't know what they're for. And this thing's got a bunch of buttons. You see, you got the macro buttons right here. This is the M, M, R, M, L, left, left and right. And you got some slots right here on the top. So you can put your games in here or your SD card, whatever. But I think it's mostly for the, if you got your games on the go, you just slide the games inside here. That's, I think that's pretty dope. And look at the back of it. The back of it almost resembles the ROG Ally. Not too much, but it's resembling because you got this nice texture right here for for comfort and grip. This is pretty dope. So I got two locks, so you can lock both sides of it. Keep your Nintendo Switch secure. That's pretty dope. I like that. 
Um, like I said, I wish I thought I, I thought he had two USB-C ports. I thought he had two. Maybe I was wrong. But anyhow, um, before I go any further, let me look at the accessories that come with this bad boy here. Where are they? Where did I put the accessories? I know I had it right here a while ago. I think I threw it away. I don't know. Alright. Alright. I found him. Okay. It comes with a USB um, A with C. But look at this. It comes with this is like a like a split USB type C. So you got the USB A where right here where you connect to the to your power brick or whatever it is. And then you got these two C's right here. This is pretty dope. I like that. And it looks like you got a good length. We're gonna look into that in a second. But on the back of this right here, you got a bunch of buttons right here. You got the S R M S L or the come closer. S R M more like it's a macro button you probably press this to configure your macros and you got the SL right here and this button I think you use to connect to control the brightness of the device I mean in the, the Nintendo switch that looks pretty dope and this texture right here is pretty smooth nice it's not Alcantara but it's but I think it's gonna do a job to keep it from being scratched which I like pretty much and you got the regular buttons right here BA X Y. I said, like I said, this one apparently look like it's not um, backlit. You got the minus plus, the home button right here, and you got turbo and manual button. You got the turbo. You can um with this according to what they said, you can have three level turbo, and I think this right here is the capture button, which I think that's pretty dope. I like this so far. So and it's pretty lightweight. I'll leave the link in the description if you're interested. So let me just go ahead and now connect the Nintendo Switch onto this right here the spy can or speak can however they pronounce it um controller this is pro i don't know but i'll just see but i think i gotta have to slide it down like this all right boom mm, i like this i like the way this feels so it's like i have my own version of the rg ally you see that <laughs> that's pretty dope right but it, it feels good it feels really good I'm, I'm i'm really impressed so oh i see i see what this is for now with the usb c cord okay let me just get it out of this right here this is pretty interesting i like this i like the, i like the idea behind it so i just need to get me a brick i'll be right back all right so i got me a brick right here so i'm gonna connect my brick on i'm gonna connect this cord onto the brick right here boom and slide this let me just plug this bad boy in first oh man all right just plug it in real quick so i can get the shoe on the road i'm i'm excited already so what you could do look like you can connect the power onto the nintendo switch and the controller here so the lights are on so far so good and you can see it's charging the nintendo switch all right this thing comes with a 1000 milliampere battery so when you connect this bad boy up like i'm doing charging it it's going to provide at least another couple hours of gameplay with your nintendo switch which i think that's pretty dope and it comes with a vibration it comes with vibration um the motors are right here and it's three stage vibration so i'm gonna lay it down flat i'm gonna take off one of my microphones and put it near the console like this and how to activate the vibration features you gotta hold on to all these buttons right here l1 zl the r and zr i'm gonna hold all of them simultaneously so i hope you can hear the vibration that's you can, that's you select the first one do it again to select the, the, the other vibration I think that's vibration 2 when I hold it on again that thing is strong hold it on again for the third time to turn it off again to turn it on vibration 1 hold it again to for vibration 2 yeah that's dope like I said it's charging the console and charging this joint this, this, this game at the same time I love this and this controller can use on both the Nintendo switch and the OLED that's pretty dope so I'll show you how to connect this bad boy I'll show you how to connect this bad boy onto the Nintendo switch so you, I think you're gonna have to pair it in some sense 
So let me go ahead and go ahead and um, try to pair it and see, see how it goes. All right, I'm just gonna do it with you guys here. So according to the instruction, it said after entering the left face on the host, press and hold the home button. Oh, the thing, the screen is light up already. That's nice. So I'm just gonna go here, turn it on. Okay. So I say hold on, it's a hold on to the home button for like three minutes. Um, let me see again. Hold on to it for about five seconds. The RGB lights are on already. That's cool. So I'm gonna hold on to it for five seconds. Okay, so the red light is flashing, so I guess it's in pairing mode. What else? What else is it should we should do? And uh, release the finger and wait for the successful connection. Release, blah blah blah. Do not continue holding on the home buttons. Alright, so what else? Okay, let's see what else what else will be done. Alright, I'm just gonna try to figure this out and I'll be right back. Alright, I think I figured it out now. So in order for you to pair this bad boy up, all you gotta do, you have to go into the controllers and then you would have to go into change grip order. And it's gonna be right here. And what you're gonna have to do, hold on to the home button for a couple of seconds till it pops up on the screen. It's in pairing mode. And it says paired. There it is right there. And everything seems to be in order. It's, it's operating pretty fine. It's pretty fast. I like it. I like it already. So I'm just gonna take these. Um, I'm just gonna unplug these bad boy. Ah, and it's not bad. Uh, I only wish that he had a. I only wish he had a, a kickstand, so I could like, you know what I mean, to pick, hold it up. But this is nice. So it's like I got my own version of the Nintendo of the Asus Origin Ally. This is pretty dope. I like this so much. Um, let's go right here to the back. And this is supposed to be the light button. So let's let me just try to remember where it is. Alright. So it's right here on the left. Let me see if that changes the uh, RGB lighting. Alright. It changed it up a little bit. And I think it comes with different stages. It comes with static, breathing, and um yeah, that's it. That's breathing right there. And um, you can change the different colors. This is pretty dope. I like the way it feels. It's very comfortable. And like I said, you got the lock buttons back here where if you want to secure your device, you just go ahead and slide it over. You lock your device. Let me check something. Well, it's in there, all right. It locks it in. <laughs> So every button works to order. This is the home button right here. All right, I was watching some videos on YouTube on my um, Nintendo Switch. It's not bad. Let me just get out the YouTube here, get out the home. Yeah, this is not bad. So this is the capture button. Let me double check. I'm able to take a capture because I'm not playing a game. Let me just go ahead and um, play an old school game. Let's check out um, the, the controller, see how it works. But I must say, this joypad feels very, very good. This is great. This will overshadow these joy cons. This is this feels just like the Ace Ace is RG Ally. It feels great. God would all affect the joysticks. So let me just go ahead and play, try to play a game and um just end the video right here. Alright, I'm gonna play one of my old school games that I like to play. This one's called Rival Turf. Uh, let me just click the buttons back here. RGB lights, that's pretty dope. All right, right here in the corner, you got the turbo button. So let's test it out, see what it's all about. So, oops, I think I did something wrong. Let me unpause it. So let me hit turbo. That's one level, two level. That's nice. And the D-pad feels so great. Let me, D-pad feels so good on this thing right here. It's non-intrusive. The buttons are very responsive. All the buttons are very responsive. This is not bad. I, the only thing I wish, I wish that um, I wish this thing probably had like a mini speaker. I didn't know the speaker on the Switch is not all the best. But this is great. I like it. This this changes everything. I know I'm enjoying the Nintendo Switch even more. This is what Nintendo Switch should have originally done. Like I said, this D-pad, the Joy Cons are pretty good. It does the job. It does the job well. Uh, so I'm moving around freely with the joy with the D-pad. I'm not using the Joy-Cons. 
Let me just go ahead and use the Joy-Cons. And you got a nice click to it. Let me turn on the light. Say, you got a nice click to it. It's got a nice click, as I said. And on the buttons, they feel very, very good. Like the ROG Ally X. ROG Ally X feels a little bit smushy. These feel, these feel a whole lot firm. This is well built. Uh, like I said, they got different types. I got the, the lightning design and the lights, but I like it simple. But like I said, I'm so impressed with the buttons. These buttons feel solid. They're well built. I like the D-pad. See, the capture button works. Home button still works. Yeah. Um, I think I the only miss, only grab I would say with this, maybe they should have like a little cutout so you could hear the speaker so the speaker could breathe more or you could the, vote, the sound could come out more so you could hear it but other than that this is great great texture it it's it feels very good um it got cases for it i would have to order the case uh i'll leave the link in the description if you want to get it but this changes everything now i enjoy my nintendo switch even more and like i said you got a port where you can charge the i think you can charge the i think it's for charging the controller here and you can also charge your know, Nintendo Switch at the same time. So if you have the Nintendo Switch OLED, the old school one, just and it comes with this cable right here, which I love so much. Just boom, go ahead and charge the device. Boom. See, charging the old, charging the Nintendo Switch, and I believe this one right here is to charge the um, it's to charge the handheld right here. So that's that's a decent that's a that's a decent thing to have. So. That's all I got for you right here. This is the Spiken G3G, what is G200? The Spiken G200 the spike and g 200 gaming gaming controller for the Nintendo Switch. This changes everything. I love this so much. You, I'm gonna leave the, list, the link in the description. You gotta get this, this is dope. This is dope, I like this very much. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, and share, and I'll catch you in the next video.